Competitive hardware, consistent software and satisfactory all-round performance are three features that one would most look out in the sub-10,000 fablets in India. The newly introduced Lenovo A7002 bears similar expectations and we take a look at this smartphone to see how far it fares. The A7000 just like its predecessors the A6000 and the A6000 Plus is said to have a feature-ish package but what we really hope is that it isn't simply yet another battery-biffed Android smartphone. Announced only last month, the Lenovo A7000 impressively boasts of being the very first Lenovo device with the Dolby Atmos surround sound technology. Additionally, with this smartphone, Lenovo officially makes its entry into the Li class of 4G-enabled phablets in the sub-10,000 price point. The new A7000 bears a plastic rear panel with matte finish. Thanks to the matte finish, the A7000 doesn't leave fingerprints and also offers a better grip than the typical glossy rear panel. Unfortunately, the 5.5-inch display is a fingerprint magnet and prone to leaving fingerprints. The screen has earpiece on the top with a front-facing camera and a LED notification light on, on its left. Three capacitive buttons without backlight rest at the chin area of the phone. On the right, we have the power and volume control metallic buttons with fine grooves on them. At the bottom of the phone is a primary microphone while the micro USB port rests at the top middle and the standard 3.5mm audio port rests on the top left side. The 8MP main camera is placed in a square metallic frame on top left corner of the back side with a dual LED flash under it and a secondary microphone and a speaker mesh is found at the right corner about an inch under it. Having just 8mm thick and weighing 140 grams, it has fairly light feel to it. All in all, we did like the subtle matte finish and a fine serration on the metallic buttons. But what disappointed us was that the rear panel did not fit well on the body. On squeezing the sides, the gap between the smartphone and its back panel is clearly filled. The A7000 has a 5.5-inch 720p IPS display which offers nice colors and wide viewing angles. It also sports Asahi's Dragon Trail glass for protection against scratches. An octa-core 1.5GHz MediaTek MT6572M mo mobile chip provides the processing power along with a 2GB of RAM. The phone offers an 8GB built-in storage out of which only 3.1GB internal storage is available to the user for apps and media. The phone has a microSD slot which can accept only up to 32GB capacity cards which is a bit downer since most phones are capable of expanding by at least 64GB. The two micro SIM card slots and memory card slot are placed under the removable back panel. Thankfully, the A7000 has a 2900mAh high capacity removable battery. Out of the two SIM card slots, only one supports a 4G LTE including the band 3 which is 1800MHz and band 40 which is 2300MHz which are allotted for India while the other SIM card slot is meant only for the 2G. But the 4G LTE support is only to data and not for voice calls. FM radio works along with a pair of headphones which act as an antenna. Loaded with the competitive hardware, the A7000 promises every bang for buck. A7000 comes preloaded with Android 5.0 Lollipop, customized to the Lenovo Vive 3.0 UI which lays on top of it. Though the icons seem to be inspired from the iOS design, but they are inconsistent in design style and size. Dolby Atmos basically acts as a sophisticated equalizer to amplify the sound output, but mostly for the headphones. A7000 can provide decent output to most of the common headphones. Overall, I found that the sound output was more towards neutral without any special focus on any of the frequency. Dolby Atmos helps to enhance the sound stage a bit better. But frankly, A7000 is not for someone who is looking for a great music playback capability. YViewer also throws in a couple of handy features such as the quick snap and the widely used double tap to wake. The stock lollipop-like smoothness is what Vive 3.0 UI aims for but still leaves slight lag behind. But you will experience this lag only when the A7000 is stressed out with lot of apps running in the background. Lenovo has also integrated the true caller but sadly it slows down the response at times when attempting to make a phone call. Nevertheless, despite the custom skin and the icons, the overall UI still manages to be fast and fluid. The camera app is a simple icon without any major frills. 
For new users, the target locking mechanism helps the user capture those picture perfect photos with a 9 panel grid. The 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash works quickly. At night, the dual LED flash manages to get a good quality but excessive noise does manage to seep in. Photos clicked in daylight had close to accurate colors. Here are some 8 megapixel samples. If you click on this camera icon with camera UI, you get options for normal, touch, timer and voice. Basically these are different ways one can click images. Like if you select a touch feature as soon as you touch the screen, the A7000 will click the image. A7000 camera also has the HDR mode which we can manually enable or disable. There are options for aspect ratio, white balance, scene mode, manual ISO control, frame guidelines and even manual control over the contrast, saturation, sharpness and the exposure. Lenovo has given even more controls like we can set function for volume control buttons which can be set either as a capture or zoom. The front facing 5 megapixel camera delivers good selfie images and has options for gesture based capture like the hand sign, bling mode as well as voice activated commands and a traditional timer based photo capture feature. This smartphone can shoot 1080p full HD, 720p HD and 480p standard definition videos but there is no option for slow motion video capture. The autofocus in video is not instant but takes a second to refocus but frankly this is not a major drawback. The front 5 megapixel camera can also record 1080p full HD videos as well as 720p HD videos at 30 frames per second. Here are some video samples. Overall the camera performs above average and provides decent enough still photos and videos to be shared over social networks and instant messengers. The 5.5 inch phablet with the HD resolution gives a decent performance. We also managed to play some 4K videos with a third party app. Gaming on the A7000 gave a fun experience without any stutters. What's more, the graphics intensive games did not result in phone heating up at all. When it comes to the most basic functionality of the phone, calls, the earpiece delivered good sound output during the voice calls but the rear speaker was not loud enough for the speakerphone usage. A7000 works flawlessly with multiple apps running in the background and the lollipop's card style multitasking makes switching between them is quite easy. The real world performance of the A7000 proves that it delivers a balanced performance and is a good smartphone for gaming with an attractive price point. Just for pure numbers, the Antutu give some amazing score. Yes, you read that correctly. It's 42,546 and even beats devices like the Samsung Galaxy S5 and Xiaomi Mi4 at a price point of just 899. A7000 packs a fantastic 2900 mAh battery and takes about 2.5 hours for a full charge. With the usage involving making several calls, frequently using WhatsApp, watching full HD videos, gaming for half an hour, playing some music for less than an hour, and some fiddling around with the phone, the A7000 manages to run for little more than a day and half. Using the phone more heavily could make the battery last only until a day. A7000 priced quite aggressively at A999 delivers a balanced performance likely to appeal strongly to the mobile gaming fans. The A7000 shows great potential to deliver a great performance as compared to the 4G LTE supporting Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4G with just a single SIM card slot and the Huawei's Honor 4X supporting 4G in both slots. The A7000 is slightly cheaper than the Honor 4X. It fares a notch better as well. All in all, the A7000 proves to be an ideal phablet with a good battery life at a cost-effective price. This is Gaurav from MySmartPrice.com and thanks for watching this detailed review of the Lenovo A7000. Thank you.